Welcome to the Virtual College Exploration for All North and South Carolina Students, sponsored by the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your question to our presenter at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at CACRAO.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, CACRAO.org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenter. Hello, my name is Tabitha Sims and I am the admissions counselor uh, for Belmont Abbey. And I just wanted to give you a great presentation on who we are as a school. I actually graduated from Belmont Abbey in 2017. I double majored in psychology and education. And I also played volleyball here. Belmont Abbey is a small liberal arts Catholic college that's about 10 miles west of downtown Charlotte. We have about 1200 traditional students on campus. Belmont Abbey is an incredible place because it doesn't just focus on the student um, academically, but the mind, body, and spirit with academics, athletics, uh, opportunity for spiritual development. As far as academics go, we have an incredible library that has access to the entire University of North Carolina system of books. We also offer free printing in this building as well as uh, campus-wide Wi-Fi. At the very bottom, we have our Academic Resource Center, which allows for 24-7 online tutoring, as well as face-to-face -face tutoring with um, professors as well as peers. As far as majors go, we have almost 30 majors, but I've kind of touched on our more popular ones. Our biology program has a 90% acceptance rate into a further education, whether that be a PA school um, or a medical school. Our education is a um, elementary education licensure program, and we have a 100% placement rate for our teachers post-graduation. A couple other highlights are our business programs, our sports management program, and our motorsports management program. Because of our proximity to Charlotte, we have access to internships um, for the NFL team, the Carolina Panthers, as well as minor league sports teams, and um, the NASCAR um, Charlotte Motor Speedway, as well as Dragway. We do have a couple new programs this year that includes nursing, HEMA, which is health information management and analytics, which is also called health and pragmatics, biochemistry and supply chain management. Something exciting that's happening on our campus is we're, we're looking to open a um, hospital on our campus for the community through our regional health facility, Caremont Health, um, that will be opening around 2023. And this will give great access for our medical pre-med students as well as nursing students. Most of our majors you can turn into our minor, but we do have some pretty exclusive minors available and pre-professional programs. Those include chemistry, classical languages, computer science, which involves cybersecurity as well as programming, economics, finance, justice and the peace, theater arts, international studies, business, we also have pre-law, pre-medical, pre-dental, pre-veterinary, and pre-nursing. As I mentioned before, we are a small liberal arts college. We have 75 full-time faculty that either have doctorates or certificates in their, or in their respective field. Our average class size is about 14 to 16 students and our student teacher ratio is 16 to one. As someone who went here, I can definitely tell you that you have that individualized experience. Some of your upper level classes, you'll probably have closer to, you know, six to 10 students, which is great because your professors are able to really get to know you and advise you in ways that you wouldn't really be able to get in a larger classroom setting. We are a liberal arts core curriculum. So what that means is we have a 50 to 53 credit hour core curriculum. However, if you're coming in with an associates of arts or associates of science, that core curriculum will already be fulfilled with the exception of a theology and a philosophy course. We do have quite the opportunity for practical skills development. 
One of those being money, the Abbey way. So a financial empowerment workshop or a financial literacy course. And that entails some of those specific questions that help you achieve not only professionally, but per, um, individually as well in your personal life. So what's a budget? How do I do that? What's a credit score? How do I do taxes? Things like that, that you don't typically learn in the classroom. So it gives you the opportunity for that. We also have a career services department that not only helps with internship opportunities, but also teaching how to write resumes, how to write cover letters, different interview preparations, whether it be an interview panel with professionals in a more casual setting, that way you're able to build your confidence and your inter interview skills in a comfortable way. We participate in a career expo everywhere, every year, and we also have the opportunity for networking and research opportunities because of our really strong alumni network that has stayed in this area. So we have the opportunity for internships that a lot of other schools don't get because of our tight-knit alumni community. Athletics, we are the Belmont Abbey College Crusaders. We're NCAA Division II affiliated in the Conference Carolinas. One of the big things is sport and virtue and really putting the student before the athlete. Most of our school teams average above a 3.0 GPA um, and typically require a study hall. Over half of our, half of our students are student um, athletes. So our professors are very used to having students missing classes and working with their schedules because of their sports. We do have men's teams, women's team and co-ed programs available. Our co-ed programs include competitive cheerleading, dance, esports, and pep band. If there's any interest in becoming an Abbey athlete, you can fill out the prospect recruit questionnaire, which is just at our website, um, abbeyathletics.com, or you can find it through BAC, BelmontAbbeyCollege.edu, and that gets you directly in touch with the coaches. Spirituality, we are a Catholic Benedictine college. We were founded in 1876 as the Belmont Abbey Monastery by 10 original monks. The Benedictine monks provide services to the students by ways of exemplifying the unique tradition of seeking God by living, working, and praying in the community. One of the big things that's unique about our school is that we do have monks on campus. So you could have a professor that's a monk, you could take classes with the monk, and a lot of them um, go to a lot of sporting events as well. Liturgy and sacraments, unlike a lot of other religious institutions, we do not require you to go to mass or chapel um, every day of the week or even once a week. We do have the opportunity for Sunday mass, daily mass, and confession, but that is based off of the student's desire. We also have an adoration chapel, which is pictured here. This is personally my favorite spot on campus. This is the St. Joseph's Adoration Chapel, which was built about 12 years ago. And it was made as a place for students who, no matter what religion, have that kind of quiet, serene place. It's open 24 seven. So any time of the day, you'll see students reading, praying, or even just kind of having a quiet moment. Student life, we do have the opportunity for Greek life. We have fraternities and sororities. They're pretty active on campus. We do have a student government, which is peer elected, and we have over 40 clubs and organizations that range from the Green Team, Student Activities Board, or the Abbey Players, which is our theater troupe and is actually the oldest theater troupe in the state of North Carolina. I do have a short clip here of what um, a dorm typically looks like. We do suite style dorms. So you are sharing a room with a roommate and there are um, four other rooms in the suite sharing a bathroom. We do have pretty spacious dorms and our dorms come with built-in closets as well as two desks, two beds. The beds are bunkable. Becoming a crusader, we are in our early action period. That early action period ends at the end of this week. Um, what that means is you will receive an admissions decision by early November. It is non-binding. Our application is always free and located on our website at Belmont Abbey College or BAC. Edu. After that, we go into rolling admissions and are admitting and um, enrolling students up until pretty much the first week of class. However, we do suggest making a deposit deadline by May 1st. We are currently for the students who are wanting to come into this, this spring of 2021, um, we are enrolling admissions right now. 
tuition and financial aid, we reduced our tuition by 33% in 2013. Um, we've been on a seven year tuition hold at 18,500 per year. Um, however, that being said, over 95% of our students receive financial aid of some sort, whether it be loans, grants, or work study. Um, we do have merit-based scholarship, which is given upon admission, NCAA athletic scholarship, which is given through the coaches. We also have premier scholarship programs. Our most transfer friendly programs are the Felix Hindemeyer Catholic Leadership Award which is for confirmed Catholics who are looking to build their leadership, their leadership skills um, in groups of small, small groups of peers. And then also the St. Thomas More um, Scholarship, which is for the interest in civic leadership and volunteering within um, the community. As far as our freshman class profile go, our average GPA was a 3.2. We are test optional. Um, the average SAT was a, um, critical reading was a 540, math was a 530, um, ACT was a 22. As far as transfers go, our required GPA is a 2.0. All right, so now I'm going to open it up for questions, which I did see that there was one in the Q&A. Okay, so our adult program, we actually do have a CCPS program, which is our continuing college program. So as far as that goes, um, that typically requires um, a, depending on whether you've done school before, we would need those GPAs as well. Um, those are typically eight week programs. And we do have some specific um, majors that are those night programs, but if you are able to take classes during the day, then you can pretty much major in um, all the majors that are available. Any other questions? Any other questions? Yes, we are doing on campus tours. So the question that was asked are, are you doing um, tours in person right now? We are doing three tours a day. They are um, by single families. So um, a different family per tour. Um, we currently have them at 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m., Monday through Friday, and then every other Saturday. And you can sign up for those at our website at bac.edu, or you can call in and sign up that way as well. As far as special times slash days for transfer students, um, no, they can come at any day, any time. I personally am the transfer counselor. Um, so if you would like to talk to me, then you can absolutely request to do so. My days that I uh, typically do uh, greet tours and speak with tours are Fridays. However, if you would like to talk to me, I'd be happy to do that any day that you are available to come. You're very welcome.
Any more questions I can answer? Tabitha, about how many transfer students do you accept each year? This past year, we accepted about 70 and then en enrolled about 35. Great. Thank you everyone for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of the many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions at CACRAO.org. In about a week, you'll be able to finish this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at CACRAO.org. Thank you.